Here we see a beautiful forest. Sun is shining. Lush green grasses, tall, tall trees. What a beautiful forest it is. If we move ahead with the times, we have been very thankful to the nature for giving us this beautiful forest. But what we did with it will break our heart and our future also. This is the condition we are bringing our mother earth to. We are cutting down the trees, we are killing animals, we are destroying our nature. What do you think are we doing? And are we doing right or wrong? Here's the chimpanzees or gorilla is saying is that and you betrayed us all. We betrayed our nature. We betrayed our animals. We betrayed our mother earth. So, are we still awake or are we still sleeping? That's a question that arises in my mind when I talk about the conservation of plants and animals. Hi everyone, how are you? That a theme that we came along with, it's about the conservation of plants and animals. We are into the daily sessions for our class 8 and have been enjoying chapter 1 and chapter 2. Today, we are discussing chapter number 3 and the story that I told you about is the reality of our life. We love forests, we love greenery, we love animals, we love the rain that comes from, the fruit that comes from, the products that the forest offer us. But then why we betray it? Why each and every time when the nature is giving all to us, helping us, we just betray them? What is the reason behind it? And we are clueless. We are completely clueless that what is happening. In this particular chapter, students, we will be learning about the various conservation methods for both plants and the animals. And we will be trying to find a solution so that we can save our nature. So let's begin our class. The first main disaster that we did is nothing but the deforestation. So what is deforestation? As you can see, cutting down the trees. For our own selfish purposes, we are cutting our beautiful forest. Now we believe that cutting off forest will give us land to make buildings, to industries, to do more of cultivation, to make a huge building, which actually does not serve a purpose to mankind, but still we cut the trees. What happens if we cut the trees? A question that we usually ask ourselves very rarely, we just feel that, okay, fine, okay, this board, maybe it's made up of wood. Or the chair that I'm sitting on is made up of wood. So, which means that cutting tree is necessary? A question is a big question to us. And of course, the answer will be no. Cutting down the trees is not the solution that we really want from all of us. So, what is the solution? We'll find out the solutions and various other things that we can do to preserve our nature. Coming back on the topic, deforestation means clearing of the forest from making way for the human activities is called as deforestation. Very simple definition, but gives lots of lots of meaning to our life. Now, what are the major consequences or major causes of deforestation. So let's just study them in detail. First, agricultural activities. I want to eat chapatis, I want to eat rice, I want to eat barley, I want to eat everything which is there on the earth. But for that, cultivation is required. And for the cultivation to occur, we need a land. It's good, it's very good. I'm not saying that cultivation is bad, it's very good. We can cultivate in that particular land, of course, give a good amount of yield to the people which are present here. But what we do, we think that, okay, this land is good. We become more greedy. We become more and more selfish. We want, I want that land also. Oh, let me have that land also. And we just over exploit our nature. 
So one major important causes of the deforestation is that cutting of the forest for just about the agricultural activities. Second, logging. Of course, I I have a bed which is made up of shisham. We want to flaunt in front of the society that we are making the furniture and other beautiful things in our house from a real wood which is coming from various parts of the world and we feel very pride about it we feel very proud saying all these things now the question i really would ask you students what you think what you think is the pride that we are carrying on our shoulder do tell me on the comment section below what you feel about it or are we doing it right or wrong so of course logging of the trees is not good we cannot cut trees just for the sake of show off so one of the second reason is the logging third reason is urbanization of course i want to go to the big cities to study i want to go to the big cities to do job and of course when we come to the city of course the city is also land which is increasing again and again with more number of people that requires some amount of need from the other side so what the people will do over here they'll just cut down the forest they'll to build more buildings that is nothing but the urbanization fourth desertification the fertile land has been converted into the the deserts that process is desertification fifth mining we the human breed is very greedy we are doing a lot of mining into the deep down earth to take out the coal petroleum etc that actually causes the deforestation how of course we know that for coal and petroleum especially for the coal let's just talk about the coal here first for coals we will be digging down the forests to dig down deep we have to cut the forest land to make it clear so by doing it we are actually harming our nature fourth or oh sorry sixth is the forest fire very common we hear in news is every time there's a forest fire here lots of the forest just burnt up of course the forest fire is a is a natural cause sometime and of course sometime it's man made so depending upon the conditions it can be differentiated but the only reason will be that it is here on the list is that because it causes the deforestation it kills our forests moving on ahead what are the harmful effects of the deforestation you and me are sitting in this ac room we are enjoying our life comfortably you are sitting at your home watching this video and you're like ma'am why should we bother about some plants getting cut millions of mile away right it should not bother us but it still bother us why because indirectly it will be affecting us all each one of us who are watching this video who are not watching this video and still there on the planet earth will be getting affected if we are cutting a single tree on this mother planet so what are the effects of it first it increases the soil erosion we have studied that the top layer of the soil is called as top layer of course okay it is a very fertile soil which holds the plant which holds the plant and give lots of nutrition to it okay it will hold the plant and it will allow the plants to grow water will be coming nutrition will be coming and top layer will be there to hold it but if we are cutting the forest is the, the land surface is completely open now once is this open when the winds will blow the top layer will lose and you know this particular interesting fact that to make top layer it took millions of years not billions it at least took millions of years so just imagine if you are losing all the top soil what will happen in the crop production we have studied that you can add manures and fertilizers and water etc but do you think without the top layer of the soil these all things will work think about it so we know that it will not right think about it and you can always write in a comment section below next is the disruptive livelihood 
And there are lots of people who are still completely dependent on the foresters for their livelihood. What happens if you are cutting down the forest? They are losing their livelihood. They are losing their food. And of course, they are losing their, you know, a home that they call. So we are destroying their home actually. And how would it feel if someone, stranger comes at your place and just pick up, just pick your favorite table lamp maybe or just pick up your bottle and leaves? We feel bad about it, right? Then what are we doing to these people? This whole session is about thinking, thinking are we doing something for mankind or we are just passing by. We're just staring at the people and we are saying, finally, thank God that we are not them. We don't care about it, what is happening. But deep down, we know that we are doing something wrong and we should correct it. Let's just correct it before it's get too delayed for the nature and for us. Moving on ahead, we have reduced biodiversity. Of course, when the forest will not be there, the biodiversity, the animals, the plants which is living inside them will suffer, they'll lose their life and will be reduced of the biodiversity. Of course, we have disruptive water cycles. Of course, forest controls and somewhat helps in the maintenance of the you know, water cycle, the rainfall. If they are not there, of course, the waterfalls will not be there. And of course, rain will not be occurring. So everything have a consequences and we will be losing all major water resources. Loss of habitat, of course, this is very similar to the loss of the diversity. We will be losing lots of animals and these animals will be losing their home. Last but not the least, increased global warming. Global warming is a topic which we have been listening to, I think, more than 15 years from now. Very, very frequently uh, noted down in the newspapers, in, you know, all the debates, all the school competitions. We always say how we can reduce global warming, etc. We all know that it is not good for our earth. But what are we doing actually? What you are doing actually, what I am doing actually, that matters to us. So we will be working on that of the increased global warming thing in the end of this particular class. Hang on till there. Okay. So we are through with it that these are the major effects or the harmful effects of the deforestation. Let's see how we can prevent them. Okay. And how we can prevent them and actually how the forest is helping us to survive. So the forest resources actually give us the timber, right? It gives us the timber and gives us wildlife. It gives us the environment where we can just go and see animals, see plants, see, you know, beautiful other things. We can experience the nature. Of course, along with it, we have lots of fuel which is coming from the forest. We have medicinal plants. We have lots of fodder which is being provided by the forest to us. So these are the very important things that forest is offering us. And we like a bad people, just destroying them. I don't think it's a very right thing for us to do. But of course we are doing, we'll find a solution for that also. This is nothing but a more serious issue that we have. That is the desertification. Now, what is desertification? Con conversion of the fertile land, the green one which you can see, into the desert is called as desertification. And you will be like, ma'am, it's very easy. Yeah, the green land is converted into the desert. It's easy for us to remember, but pay attention students, what is happening here? A green healthy land is getting converted into the desert. It's a serious, serious problem to us and to the nature. What will happen? And what are the causes for it? See? Overgrazing. So if you have a very huge grasslands and if you have a lot of animals, they'll be going, eating grasses and they're enjoying their life. But after some time, what happens? 100 more of those animals comes and eat the grass. What happens? The land is limited. The amount of resources it has to offer is limited. If we are overcrowding it, the resources will go fast soon. And once they are gone, we have a barren land. We don't have anything on that land. And hence, overgrazing causes the desertification. Deforestation, of course, is a cause of it. 
or could be the consequences. Next over here we are discussing its effects. Of course, when the when the soil or when the land is completely free, it will lose the top layer of soil and we have soil erosion. And of course, when we are facing with the major equation or problem like soil erosion, we will be losing the important nutrient which are good for the soil for any of the crops. So, desertification is just gives you a clear picture that we are losing top soil, we are, we are losing all the nutrient in it and we have to save it. Let's see what we can do about it. The good thing that we can do about it is that plant more trees. Easy solution, here is a barren land and this this girl is trying to help the nature by just planting land and maybe after some time whole scenario will change and it will be all green. So of course with that note we will be planting a tree. I am not sure that I can ask you that you can promise me to plant a tree but I can always ask you to protect a tree. Protect a plant near around you, do that. It's nothing big I'm asking from you. You have to just be there, water it, assure that it's not getting, you know, stamped by anything. Just protect a plant. If you can protect a plant, then maybe after some time, plant a tree. By planting a tree, you're helping the mother earth. You're helping nature and you're helping yourself. You'll be like, ma'am, yeah, of course, we can do that. Please do tell me if you ever planted a plant or if you really want to do it. And you know, it will be great to see that all the students are so excited to do that. So on that particular note, this happy tree saying thank you so much for commitment and for planting a new plant. I'll be seeing you in the next class. Till then, bye bye. Take care, enjoy and just be kind to all the trees and be happy like him. Bye bye students.